This is usually fairly frightening. I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. To lap the head on a KL engine, this will go along with multiple engines as well. But for this application, I'm using a drill, a small vacuum line, and some grinding compound for valves. So now I need to find the valves that I'm using and make sure they are in good condition. This valve is basically perfect, like all these ones. So I'm just gonna grab two intakes. So I'm gonna grab two intakes and two exhausts. Okay, I've got them here. So now I'm gonna grab a valve, dip it in a little bit and just get the edge. I just want the seat. The seat is the outside of the actual valve. So I've got a decent amount there, probably too much, it was hard to do with the camera, but that should be good enough. I'm gonna drop it in and make sure you do not get it into the actual valve guide. I'm gonna do it for all four of them. Make sure you get the grit because it is mixed. It's actually um, grease mixed with compound. So make sure you actually get some of the compound on it or a lot of the compound on it. And then drop her in. Same thing with the exhaust valves. You don't want any compound on the shaft at all because that will get into your valve guide and you don't want that. Now I'm just gonna flip the head so it's sitting on its side and then I can have the access to the tops of the valves. Okay, so in these little holes, usually there are HLAs, they're obviously not there because we don't even have the springs in. So now you can see the top of the valve. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to push on this vacuum line so I can get a drill onto that actual valve. You just gotta jam that vacuum line right onto the valve as far as you can get it on. All right, I got that vacuum line on, so I'm gonna shove it into my drill and then tighten it on to the vacuum line. So I got it now. And as you can see, when I push, the valve comes out. Like I'm saying, when I push in, the valve comes out right there. So in, out, in, out, in, out in, out, in, out. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I have it in forward, so I've got it turning to the right, and I have the compound on, as you can see. So what I'm gonna be doing is I have the drill on the lowest speed, so I'm gonna go full throttle on lowest speed and have it out a little bit, and then pull it in, one, two, three, four, put it back out, then back in, one, two, three, four, Put it back out, then back in. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do that 20 times in a row. So all you need to know is have it out, spin it, pull it in. One, two, three, four, 20 times, okay? This is what it looks like from the inside of the head. So what you're doing is just pulling on with firm pressure and getting that thing in there, seating and grinding that compound. So yeah, the head's gonna move around a little bit because you got that rubber on there. It's fine as long as you keep consistent pressure. So that's really important. From the top, pull it right out. And I'm going to now clean up all the compound so I can see how much progress I actually made. So I just have a clean rag here gonna wipe it all away and what you want to see on the valve is a smooth transition from dark to actually shiny so the shiny spot is where we had the compound on which is right there and you don't want any nooks or crannies or anything like that that is gonna let a leak through so this is actually looking pretty good for the first shot I usually do that 20 times twice. So I do it a total of 40 at least just to make sure, right? So now we're gonna check the head. Now I'm cleaning off the compound off the head. I'm looking for a smooth seating spot. And 
as I can see, everything looks great on this one. Everything looks even and consistent and everything has been touched by the grinding compound. So that looks great. This is what an unlapped valve seat looks like. As you can see at the bottom of this intake valve, there's a dark spot and that is from corrosion. So that could be a, ten a potential leak. So once you look at the, the ones I've done, it's all nice and smooth and everything's already touched by the compound. Now I'm going to finish the other three that I haven't done yet. And I'm just gonna time-lapse it. Taking her out, gonna clean her up. Yeah, you just have to take your time and you can repeat this process as many times as you would like without actually hurting anything. Just cleaning it up a little bit. I'm gonna check out my new seat. Okay, my valve's looking mint, and so is the head. Perfect. All right, I just got four more to do. Same process, I'm gonna get to it. Bottom left corner, I'm gonna pull it out and then clean it. Sliding it in and out, you just gotta get it into the stem down there. You can just barely see it through the camera, but it just slides right in. You gotta be very careful when you're doing so. All right, she's all cleaned. I got the valve sitting here on the head just to show you what it's supposed to look like up close. Take a look. And I'm also up close right here to show you the seats on the head. That's gotta be smooth. It's gotta be consistent. Comparing this one that I just showed you to this one, how this has carbon buildup and it almost seems like a little bit of a divot in there. That is what makes bad compression. So that's what you're getting out when you're actually lapping your head and valves. So yeah, so this is untreated, not lapped. And then this one is treated and lapped. So get a good look in there on the valve seat and I'm gonna do a little before and after. then that is a lapped valve seat on the head. So pretty big difference there. It's a little bit more shiny, consistent, and not dark, so good to go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And then, and same thing on the valve. Then just wrap her in. I hope you've learned how to do this. I think I did a thorough walkthrough. Anybody can do this. Seriously, just go rebuild your stuff, get that hat off get that thing running mint. Okay, so now I've got my vacuum line. This is just from the other side when I'm actually doing the, the lapping. So I'm just going to put this vacuum line over top of the valve stem, get it on as far as I can. And I just keep my finger on the valve I'm actually pushing it onto so it doesn't pop out of the other side. Just kind of wiggle it on there. The more time you spend wiggling it on, the, the less time you'll spend putting it back on. So just get her on really nice. You can use a needle nose, but I just try and, try and use my finger so I don't damage anything. Because if you damage any of the sides in here on the tappets and the HLAs, that's not good. So I'm just gonna put the drill bit, or the drill onto the, the actual um, vacuum line. So I've got that on there. So this is the motion I'm doing when it's on and you listen. You listen for the grit, so it'll sound really aggressive, then it'll sign, it'll sort of go away, and once it goes away, lift off. And then once you know that sound, you just keep doing that, and you're, you're here for about a minute, do it about 20 times, and then take a look. And it's all about how it looks, right? If, if it's um, all smooth and there's no pitting and everything, you're good to go. So here's, what, here's how I'm gonna do this. Grinding, 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 letting off. Grinding, 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 letting off. So 
So this is what I'm doing with my finger, just holding it in while I actually get the vacuum line onto the stem. See, now I'm just turning by my hand. So now get the drill out, get it onto the drill, and then start lapping. Okay, this is the last two valves I have to do, so I'm just gonna clean these off. Both are clean. Examining every time, being as meticulous as I can. If it looks good, you're done. If it doesn't, you lap it again. If it doesn't look good after that, you lap it again. And if you literally have such a big issue that you can't lap it out, the head's garbage, or you can get a machine shop to go further with it and gouge it out for you. All right, so the main part is done. So now I just need to check my work, triple check everything, make sure I am doing this to the best of my abilities. Just to keep you in the loop here, I have been under $100 so far. I was like $50 for the tool to get the valves out, like the actual, to get the springs and retainers off. And then I was a few bucks, 20 bucks for the compound and then all the tools that I've had to do this video, I already had like the drill and vacuum line, stuff like that. But yeah, like this is a cheap way to rebuild your engine and refresh everything. So this is something I truly recommend. Okay, so to just make sure I did everything properly, I'm going to recheck every valve. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna check, see how everything looks after it being lapped on the valve and on the head. Make sure everything's good. And if that valve is good, I'm going to drop it into oil get some oil all over it and then put it back into the head and then I move on to the next one. And then once I have all 12 done on this head, I'm done on this head. And then I can put it in a bag and then wait until, wait until I, I have springs have, for it uh, and everything. Springs but for until it then, and see in the, the next one, like, comment, and subscribe. This is usually fairly fighting.